Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jo and Osis. I told you guys I'll be back. So today's video is all about love. We like that. We love love, right? If you don't love love, So if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Jo and Osis, I already said that. And welcome to my channel. I am doing a series called God's Promises where I'll just be sharing God's promises. Anything that has to do with God's promises, I'll be sharing on my channel. If you want to see my previous video, just click the link right up there. So yeah, that's not waste time. Let's get right into the video. Let's jump into the video. So we are going to be talking about John 14 verse 21. Today's promise will come from that. It states, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he is that loves me, loveth me. And he shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. So I'm not going to step into depth with the verse. What I'm going to do is try to break it down and try to help you understand what this verse means but always 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 remember with my promises I'm not a pastor I'm just sharing what God places on my heart as you can see my channel is not even about preaching so like read them pray and meditate on the word so it says he that has my commandments and keepeth them he it is that loves me. So this is Jesus speaking to his disciples. I believe it was before he was being crucified. What's the commandment? So Jesus' commandments are you shall love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your mind and all your soul. And then the second just like it is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. People can say, I love Jesus, I love Jesus, I love Christ, I love Christ as much as they want. The only way that that is true if and if and if they have the commandments in their heart, if he's obedient to the commandments. Not just about reading it and seeing it, actually by loving it, you know, that way you can tell that this person loves Christ. And he shall be loved of my father and I will love him. This does not mean that we have to love God first for him to love us. God loves us already. But this means that God will show himself more to the person who loves him. Genuine love is shown by deeds. So the lover responds to the love. Do you understand? The lover responds to the love. So the increased love of God does not mean that he will love us more. But it means that we will know him more and will manifest myself to him that is the holy spirit the holy spirit will be embedded in you and and a way to tell that god does love sinners is he sent his son onto earth to die for our sins so of course unbelievers are loved by god but it's a one-sided relationship because the believers have a relationship with the lord and are embedded with the holy spirit the son reveals himself in a way that is not possible for the unbelievers Obeying God's commandments and loving your neighbors and loving God sets you on a next level of life. Love the Lord your God with your heart, your soul, and your mind. Love your neighbors as you love yourself. God will love you. And I explained what that means. God will love you. And because of that, Jesus will love you. And because of that, the Holy Spirit will be embedded in you. I'm learning with you guys honestly I'm learning with you guys and I'm just so I'm just so happy like I said I'm not a pastor please, please please don't do a kind act love each other love yourself don't put yourself down do not put yourself down don't look at yourself down love yourself you were created by the most high king he formed you he shaped you and he knows you and yeah you are something amazing like he looked at you and he was like mm, that is amazing so <laughs> thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys next time on god's promises thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have a gorgeous blessed wonderful day